all of them they are small boys all of them you can bring them one by one i am here to stay all of them one by one you can bring them they can gossip they can do fuck them DJ, music producer and entertainer DJ Coach certainly did not have the easiest of lives growing up. But he knows better than anyone the difficulties and commitment you need to your craft that you need to put in in order to make your dreams come true. He joins me now to discuss his life's journey and the exciting thrill of finally being able to say, I've made it. <laughs> now, DJ Coach, welcome to the show. Hi, how are you? I'm very excited to touch base with you because, yeah. you know, your story is something that so many South Africans can relate to. We are one of started from the bottom, now we're here type story. Yeah, most definitely. So please may you just take me from the, to the beginning of you growing up, the household that you found yourself in, in that small town in Limpopo, to finding your love of music. Um, I was born on the 17th of May, 95. Uh, basically, I grew up with my mom and grandmother before my father officially paid Lobola and all that. Yeah, so I was actually born in a small village called Khamutodi mm -hmm. in, in Limpopo province. So I've, I grew up under conditions of poverty. We were staying in just a, a two, you know, two bedroom house, you know. So yeah. the kitchen was there, the bedroom, everything. But as I was growing up, I didn't understand why was I in that situation? Why not the guy next door, you know, because other people seemed to be living the good life, you know. But otherwise, I just told myself that, you know what, I'm sure my parents are doing their best. And yeah, so that's how I grew up. And then 2006, that's when uh, my father managed to get uh, yeah. his own, you know, house. So we started in a shack mm -hmm. from 2006 uh, up until 2013. And for me, yeah. that's something that uh, is so remarkable because a lot of people think that if this person is, is involved in my life, life yeah. will be better. If maybe things change and we move out of home, then this will happen and this could maybe make life a little easier. But yeah. the reality is sometimes when that saving grace comes, it also comes with its own challenges that you have to overcome within yourself. Yeah. And some of yeah. an, another challenge that you had to overcome is within school. I mean, I do understand that you, were, you didn't quite find your passion and, and hook onto that academic bug. So how did you find the struggles is and decide to find your release in music? Uh, well, obviously, when I went to Varsity, I had bigger dreams of making it. But first year, when I was doing a accountancy, I failed everything, you know. And I, I, I believed that somehow, somehow it was witchcraft. Hmm. I don't know why I believed that. So I said, let me switch to another course. I went for economics. Uh, second year, I failed again. Third year, I failed again. Fourth year I failed again. So now it was normal. Failing for me, it was, you know, it was a norm. Then 2017, I decided to finally quit that ah, this is not for me. Because now the challenge was that I was lying to my parents all along, you know, hectic. Uh, so they didn't know because if I told them uh, okay. that I was failing, they would have said, come back home. So I told myself that I'm going to stay in Gauteng and hustle. And you yeah. finally got that <laughs> breakthrough in 2019, just last year. So how it happened was since, well, I've realized that my parents won't support me in this journey. That simply means that if I say, mom, I need a speaker, dad, I need a USB, they will definitely not support me, you know, yeah. because they want me to go to school because that's what they know. So I told myself that, you know what, let me push other things 
be my own sponsor, you know. So I see your own investor. Yeah, basically. So I finally managed to do that just around about 2019 when I said, now this is my time. I'm gonna fund my music career from DJing equipment, music videos. Wow. I don't need to borrow anything from anybody because Bafela uh, Bar in my language. Um, meaning that you just have to do your own things which has, without having to rely on anybody for anything. Yeah, you know, yeah. sometimes you have to kind of call on yourself, dig deep within yourself yeah, and make yeah. it happen. But congratulations on making it happen because I think Thank it's safe you. to say, Thank Mama, you. I made it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. She's proud of me, I'm sure. You had an event last year that I yeah. think got you that recognition you deserved. Yeah. And you, now we're able to spot you out of the crowd as a superstar. Please share that with us. Um, the event happened uh, 2019, mm. uh, around about, I think, the last Saturday of November. So I, I was able to call the likes of Nesty C, Kim Manada, Makadzi, and so forth, you know. So on my own, without having to ask anybody for sponsorship. Mm. And yeah, that's when I realized that, you know what, I've made it. Now I just need to work extra hard because in the music industry, it's not going to be easy as well. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Nothing's easy. And it yeah. seems like every industry has its own thing. It's got its own pros, its own cons, its own hardships. Yeah. But essentially, if you decide to become your own boss in whichever capacity, anything is possible. Most definitely. So finally, before we get your performance towards the end of the show, I want to yeah. find out from you, what can we expect from you in 2020? Well, 2021, <laughs> essentially, because the year's almost done. Eh? Okay, for 2020, um, basically, I will be... Uh, I would say I will just do one more event, okay. uh, same as last year's second annual, last Saturday of November. That's it. And for 2021, I've already made a song with uh, the legendary Master KG. Uh, it's unreleased, so I'm sure it's going to come around about 2021. So, so yeah. far, that's like my biggest project because uh, getting to feature him is the hardest thing ever. But I was lucky, uh, but through hard work, obviously. But yeah. So I hear that that song's got Zanda Zokuza. It's yes. got Master KG. I mean, yeah. they're a huge family friends of the show, I'd like yeah. to say. And, and Prince Benza as well, yes. Oh, I love that. A yeah. star-studded <laughs> lineup. And that's what you're all about. I mean, being uh, someone like you, who's got the personality that South yeah. Africans just live for, we find so much entertainment just watching you live. You yeah. decided to start your own reality show, your own YouTube <laughs> reality show that has, yeah. made, that has become so popular yeah, and gone yeah. viral so many times. I mean, tell us a bit about that. Okay, with the reality show... Uh, it was just a random idea which my partner, Lesho came with. He was like, since, because he's the one managing my social media, so people are always saying, coach, how do you live your life? What do you do when you wake up? What do you eat? And I tell them that I am the simplest person ever. They don't believe. So I had to make a reality show so that they can see that I'm as raw as I present myself. Wow. You know, I don't live the certain lifestyle they expect me to live. You know, I'm as original as I am all the Authentic. time. Authentic. Yeah, basically. I love yeah. that picture of you in your van with your legs <laughs> up. <laughs> and you said, just as full as this car is, there's no space for negativity. <laughs> the definitely. caption, the mood, I mean, yeah. you are really just who you are, living truly. Yeah, um, as yeah. you also saying, 25 years ago, you missed the babies that were crying in the hospital <laughs> with you. <laughs> you are just such a comedian, <laughs> such an act. Um, I'm looking forward to your performance yeah. a little later. No, so do not definitely. move a muscle, ne? Thank All you right. for joining us. No, thank you. No, so no matter where you come from, South Africa, DJ Coach is a true testament that poverty does not define who you are. But with hard work, dedication and perseverance, you are sure to have your dreams become realities.